All right. Uh, let's see. So we're we're back here and reach Warden's Hold. Yeah, not gonna do that immediately. So I've actually done a little bit of something between. It's a it's a stopgap, but uh, I'm just gonna own up to this right now. I've I've actually hacked my inventory, so nothing weighs anything. Uh, I realize that this is not always the um, this is not always something that that people like to see in series that I do, but. I'm already getting really frustrated by the limited inventory, and I know it's only going to get worse as we continue forward with this game, because, like, a 75-pound limit wouldn't be bad if stuff was kind of light, but everything weighs, like, a decent amount. And so, like, if I ever want to, if I ever want to, like, loot stuff or, you know, uh, if I ever want to loot stuff or, you know, go down to a new area uh, and, like, check it out, I'm more or less not going to be able to grab anything. Disguises are going to be impossible to work with. As you know. taught, I will instruct. Okay. So we've already seen this section. But yeah, this way I can loot everything. Uh, oh, there are zealot boots. Okay, I guess I just didn't loot them yesterday. Let's see if I can master of disguise this area too. I might not be able to, but whatever. Uh, but I'm gonna try and, like, keep my disguises in certain places and, you know, various other things. I, I'm gonna try and, you know, keep within my limitations. Okay, so we've already, we've already read that. But this way, I can just go and play and not feel like I, I can't pick up anything. I don't know. I, I've never been a fan of inventory limits in games outside of, like, sur like heavy survival games. Like, I can totally understand, uh, like, a hefty li inventory limitation in something like, uh... Woo, hi. This has got some stuff in it. Uh, I can understand a really hefty lim inventory limitation in, like, a survival game. Like, I'm looking at you, uh... Don't Starve. Where the you like? Is somewhere nearby. Okay, yeah, we already heard that. I'll have to go find the nectar vessel, but that's okay. Um. But yeah, just being able to. Uh, oops. Listen, listen to me. I will set you free. Uh. You know, survival games and stuff, it kind of makes sense. You have to pick and choose and it Okay, I'm going to I'm going to quick save considering I got killed here earlier. Okay, so they are automatically they are automatically aggroed onto me. So all zealots will just try and kill me. So I can just get rid of the zealot outfit. Awesome. I was not expecting a back attack there, but hey, it works. Okay. I guess that did insta kill him. I. Let's just let's grab everything but the zealot clothing. There's no real reason for me to grab more of that. I guess I could. Uh, you know what? No, no, no. We want to do that. We actually want the full zealot set here. My inventory is going to look awful by the time I'm done with this, but uh, I'm just going to I'm just going to relegate like inventory limitations or no, I'm I'm going to relegate inventory management to to something Umanity's for later. Will is mine. Humanity will yield. Okay. I really wish there was a separate button for sneak attacks, stealth attacks or like it would have a button prompt. To let you know that you can back attack these guys. Um, yeah, the reason why we want the zealot robes is so I can get some cloth. So we can actually craft some stuff there. This guy has durians. That's not what a durian looks like. Uh, but we needed cloth to make something. I've, er I've already forgotten what I needed cl the cloth for. But effectively, uh, I mean, I'm already like stupidly rich. I can get as much money as I want, so... The main reason why I'm just going to hold on to all this stuff is so I can convert it down into those little crafting tokens. And we can work on it from there. Okay, uh, I should probably do this. There's nectar somewhere around here. Somebody had mentioned you can mark dudes. 
You can. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, but what I want to do is actually get back up. Now, apparently there was a guy here. Il Prebec Nesto Umanti. I don't know if he respawned or what, but that's okay. Ow. Ow. Yeah, unfortunately, it don't do quite enough damage. Did he die? Yeah, it looks like he died. Okay. Yeah, nice part is I can just, uh, I can just speed time up whatever I want. Who's that over there? The hell is that thing? There's a dude with an afro. Okay. Yeah, did the guys respawn or did just somebody replace him? I have no idea. Yeah, unfortunately, I do not have much for sneaking clothing. Ow. I do not have much for sneaking clothing. And it's going to make life a lot harder. I, are you serious? Oh, he has a gun. You're all, all insects scuttling around pointlessly. I can make you greater. So, ranged combat in this game sucks. Like, really bad. I'm gonna stay away from the camera. And back... Come on. Okay. Uh... Can I... Just use... I can just use the medium health syringe. Awesome. Screw your crossbow. Screw your spear. Yeah, I don't know where these guys are coming from. They're just kind of arriving and coming after me, and it's not appreciated. Like, I'm not sure if enemies, like, move to fill empty sl slots, if they respawn, and, like, what exactly goes on with them. Uh, maybe, maybe he was just in the area and I wasn't paying attention. I don't know. You are being illogical, human. Join your brothers and sisters who follow me. Free your mind. It's unfortunate I can't put a disguise on the on myself for this, but whatever. Yeah, so the nice part is I can just press Y and I can insta heal. Ooh, we're uh, we're gonna Skyrim our way through this game. I guess we still have a skilled chip down there. Oh, what the hell is that? Ah. Okay. There's just a demon here. You know, I'm gonna save. We haven't saved recently, ish. And I don't quite like the idea you of fighting the it. First to try and resist me. I will break you in the end. They always give up eventually. So is is this that the demon, demon that's talking to me? Inhabiting your mind will not stop me. You're pathetic, like all of humanity. Huh. All right, well, there's the nectar that we were looking for. Okay, so these these are lootable. They didn't look like it. They still don't look like it. The heck? All right. I can rob from this one. Yeah, I should maybe try putting on some of the elegant clothing if I want to sneak around. I can always switch back to the guard uniform whenever I want. Let's see. Now, can I pull this out a bunch? He's back. What? Yeah, they do respawn. Wait, what? Okay. It's not a, not what I wanted. I gotta give 
credit, though. Abilities are fun. Like, using them, using them is cool. Uh, I thought I... Oh, I unequipped the, uh, the time slow one. Yeah, I think these guys are respawning on me. Or maybe they came after me because the, um... Because I killed the demon. I'm not 100% sure. Well, I mean, infinite loot for me, and I heal over time, so this is hardly a concern. But I do want to get out of here. We'll go down further and see what I can get. And then, hopefully we can find a crafting bench or a fast travel so I can go back to the base and I can just, uh... I, I can just get rid of half this stuff. Yeah, these guys have respawned. What? Okay. Well, I mean, could be worse. I don't like the idea of enemies respawning in a stealth game. Uh, like, if I sound an alarm and more come out, I'm fine with that. But, like, respawning enemies are an MMO thing, or an, or an RPG thing, where, like, leveling and grinding is important. For a stealth game, having enemies that repeatedly respawn randomly, uh, that just doesn't feel good. Pretty much. Colon cleansers? Really? Okay, cool. Like. Let me see. So we've got two of them. Okay, so he just summoned friends. Okay, I'm doing kind of bad. <sighs> the problem is this game is very stunlocky. And it gets kind of awful. Uh, the enemies can stunlock me, I can stunlock my enemies. And uh, sometimes there's like no breaks. Like really, uh... If I didn't, like, knock them, well, if I didn't move them around as much, like, when I hit them, I could probably just corner them and murder them. I mean, we've already seen that happen repeatedly. Okay, well, let's just grab the, the last of this area. Yeah, my inventory is going to be ridiculous, but, I mean, I was already stupid wealthy to begin with, and could afford whatever I wanted as long as I walked back. This way, I don't have to do that stupid thing where I'm slowly ferrying all of the loot that I grab. Back. So we actually want to get up this structure. If I can find it. If I can find a way up. I mean, I might just have to climb up the whole thing. Again. See ya. You wanna... Nope, I guess that, that ladder is not actually a ladder. Very confusing. So how do we get over there? I guess we go up and over. Lawrence, you'll take more than Christ zealots to crack old punch. Ha! Fuck! Not wasting my breath on you. Who are you? And why do you keep yelling insults at your captors? Wait, you're not one of those fucking lunatics. I was minding my own business when these nutters ambushed me on the road. They're doing some weird demon stuff on people. Completely lost it, I reckon. Listen, I'm not scared and could take this lot on my own. But maybe you could give me a hand getting out of here. I'll see what I can do to get you out. There's probably a release for these shackles somewhere. A switch or a key. Okay. So we have... Cables. 
Let's try this first. I'm gonna fucking kill a lot of you crazy bastards. Alright, I picked the wrong one. How do I get up there? Ow. Okay, that hurt a bit. A lot, really. Now I'm going to save, because this looks like a lot of platforming, and to some degree if I fall, I'd kind of rather just, uh, warp back. Maybe not. You have my permission to fall. Okay. Dying a little, a lot. And there we go. Combat is weird, but luckily it's giving us tons of HP stuff. I should probably start using the HP regen ones, but... And I'll probably just go make a bunch with all the materials that I get. Part of it is like, uh, I don't want to play this game as an action combat game. It's not a very good one. Uh, and so... Oh, what's this? Artifact discovery log. Peh, day four. It wasn't just my imagination. There's something here. It whispers to me in a language I cannot understand. His voice is soft, full of hate and promises. This is a test. This must be why the others got scared and ran away. Leaving all of these riches untouched. Every fiber of my being is urging me to flee. But I will stay. I must stay. There's something about this place that intoxicates me. I could make a fortune selling the artifacts I found to collectors in Hallard. I should probably be swimming in my new sky pool in the capital. But I won't surrender to the fear. I think the voice belongs to a demon buried deep within the runes. I cannot be sure, though. I should find it. I'm not afraid of it. A voice can do me no harm. Surely. I actually really like hacking games like this. Okay... Okay, so we've tried... Three, two... Six... Nine. Well, there we go. What was that? I can't hear you. <laughs> this game is fun, but also very broken in so many ways. What the hell is that thing? There's just a horror leech hanging out down there. Is there anything else in these runes that's like worth investigating? Because we, we've been there. I don't know. I guess I could check my map and see what, see what I've got in the immediate area. Uh, so I'm here. We want to head for that skill upgrade. But I think that was down low, like on the opposite side. Was there anything in here? Random junk. I'll skip it. I don't think I take too much damage from falling. So that's good. Okay, the skill upgrade's over there. We should save. I think, yeah, Butch said he was leaving. So that's good. And I'm just going to insta-give this guy. Now, is the other guy coming my way? He is. But either they can't figure out how to get to me, or something. I'm not entirely sure. Double polymer swords attack a little bit slower, though. Wow, did they really just give up that easily? They did. Alright, I ain't questioning it. But yeah, like I said, I don't really want to play this as a uh, an action stealth game. Or, not an action stealth game, an action combat game. It's... Not... Terrible? 
but I would much prefer to treat it as a as the stealth game that it I think wants to be. There we go. Okay, thief lock picking upgrade. Hell yeah. And now how the heck do we get out of here? I guess I'm just going to start going places and hopefully we'll find like an easy way out. Doesn't look like this is it though. There was like some horror leeches down in here too. Yeah, there's there's that thing. Whatever that is. Does not look like something I want to tango with. Okay. Well, let's save. I should probably should probably take a look at my my abilities. Hmm. You know what? Shouldn't have done this. <laughs> I actually can't I can't move. Okay, you know, I'm gonna save again. I kind of want to see how this pans out. Let's see, do we have a regen syringe? Okay, so it turns out the horror monster. Is um is aptly named, sort of. Okay, so we get another zealot key. I'm not really sure what those are for. But yeah, there's a random dead guy on the platform back there, and I figure I should probably go take a look at it. This man has banabras. And we are good to go. Cool. I mostly just wanted to check this man out. Yana Yana's husband's wedding necklace. Well, that's a quest-related item. Yeah, I, f I figured that'd be something I should check check out. I was like, that body looks way, way too specific of a thing. So how do we get out of here? Here, so we're in a pit. No clear way up. I like, I like this map. I think the map is cool but it also makes it really freaking hard to figure out any means of, like, exiting it. So we tried the other way. Let's go over here. Hmm. I mean, I could just climb the structure again. Oh, hey. I mean, it seems like we're stuck in here, like, down in here, so... Presumably, the best way to go is up. But maybe there's reasons to come in here and check these things out. Bandit, clo bandit clothing might actually be good for stealth. Yeah, it looks like I might be able to walk across those pipes to get out of there. Yeah, after we're done with this, I will check out everything and uh, see if any of it is actually useful for me. The fact that I can do that is kind of amazing. Okay, so that's not a zip line. I'm gonna save. It is weirdly easy to do jump wizardry, but I'm dead. Uh, yeah, so if we don't have a uh, if we don't have a platform to gr grab onto, we actually don't get the weird hang hang time that I've gotten and abused in the past to get places that I shouldn't be uh, I shouldn't be able to go to. Oh, and unfortunately, we end up waiting for a long load screen. All right. Well, this didn't work. I guess let's hop down onto the other cage. Can I get over here? Yes. Where does this get me? Kind of nowhere. Yeah, because this, this, doesn't, this doesn't get me where I want to go. I'm just going to go back to where we found Buddy Man. If we're lucky, maybe there's a way out of here. Oh, come on. I'm gonna save for a second. 
We've taken some damage, but I think I'm fine. Can I walk along these? Because this actually looks kind of promising for getting out of here. I honestly kind of wish I could just fast travel out. I'm just... Well, we've got a terminal over there. Fortunately, I don't know if I can get to it. Well, let's see where this takes me. Not anywhere, damn it. I mean, who knows? No. This is not a who knows situation. Yeah, main problem is we're directly below anywhere and everywhere that I could possibly want to be. But maybe I could go up that pipe? Seems mildly to moderately promising. Nope. Apparently it's not a climbable surface. Unlike apparently everything else in this game. Okay, I probably should have actually watched that one guy just leave. That would have maybe helped? Probably would have helped. I'm probably just missing, like, the most obvious ladder up ever. Like, there's probably a really easy way to get out of here that I just have not found yet. Because we have that over there, but that doesn't look like it. Okay. I'm just going to operate under the assumption that let's just go up. So we had this guy over here. Oh, you know what? That looks... That does look promising. There was the guy here, but it looks like he's gone. Okay, so in that case, I'm just going to hide here and we're going to fast forward my health back. I would very much like to get a, a skill chip or a something that gives me faster health regen. So I don't have to do this very often. But, oh well. I mean, what can I do? Okay, so let's save, get back up, and hope this is traversable. It looks like it. Yeah, it looks like it's a really easy way into the terminal here. I'm gonna keep saving. I think we found I think we found our way out, and I think it's perfect. Hmm. Okay. So, unlike the last area, this one's full of cultists. I... I don't know if I'm going to be able to stealth this one. Well, maybe I could. Idea. So movement speed, movement noise. So we want the impact on ground looking animation. I assume the zealot stuff does not help us. No, it doesn't. Does any of it? Maybe if we check, like... Bandit jacket. Bandit gloves. What about the elegant gloves? Yeah, it's all physical armor and movement speed. Yeah, because I want to decrease my... Movement noise. But that's harder. Okay. I'm uh, not entirely sure what that was. movement in the ruins. Multiple contacts. 
So we just lucked out. So I have to watch out for Robo Man here. I do not want to hit him. Yet. I do want to hit him. Here's the thing. I don't even know what these zealot keys are good for. Here's the thing. I'm kind of curious what big old Robo Axeman's uh, armor will net me if I if I do get it. Okay, so he's distracted over there. Oh, it looks like. Reload and recover. A bit more of these lunatics out there. It looks like this pod more or less dropped down. And was supposed to deposit more dudes. But didn't. And they're still in there, but they can't see out of it. So I will gladly loot this guy, because he seemed like he might have better equipment than what I had. Have? And that's really attractive to me. Let's just look around for a second. Okay, we've got a skill pod, but it's down in there. We need ionic liquid for stuff from what I remember. Unfortunately, I also am just going to need more... Uh, can I... Can't get back up there for some reason. Okay. I was worried for a second I was going to be stuck in there permanently. That would suck. Can I get up any of these? No. I should be able to get up this, though. There we go. Just had to finagle it a little, little bit. Yeah, so there was supposed to be more Techno Magi, but they didn't spawn. That's uh, that's really amusing. Let's see, we're still also looking for the metal chains. But I don't know if and when I will ever find any of them. Oh, well. Okay, so let's uh let's go figure out where this overseer panel is. It looks like it's above me. Like I'm still in the runes. I've not actually gotten to where I want. This area just looks close to what I want. But the camera angles cannot deal. Yeah, it looks like most of this is all garbage. Just, yeah, still no metal chains. Plates and wires and, like, rivets. But no chains. Now, is there an easy way out of this place? Don't tell me I, I found an area directly below where I want to go. Uh, looks like I might be able to go up this direction. Yep, this this looks like a, uh, a feasible ascent. That's good. I really like the idea of an open world stealth game. There are not many of them. I mean, there there are a number that kind of, like, are dishonored where you have, like, huge zones you can go through, but just the, the free-formedness actually uh, really makes this game enticing. That and the fact that it's inherently broken in almost every way. Like, on a per-bug-per-minute uh, basis, this game is kind of absurd. Uh, just how, like, how broken it is. But I like that. Unlike normally, I actually really like that. 